In a major setback to Pakistan, the Financial Action Task Force announced that Pakistan will continue to remain on the grey list. Its failure in curbing terror financing has repeatedly frustrated the counter-terrorism efforts of international organizations and countries trying to get rid of this menace. The decision of sustaining Pakistan into the grey list comes in the wake of Pakistan's unfulfilled commitments of FATF and its non-compliance on its recommendations. A report. Pakistan intensified lobbying but all efforts went in vain. Islamabad could not exit the grey list of FATF despite its eye-washing measures to counter terror financing. Recently, in a plenary meeting in Paris, FATF decided to retain Pakistan on its grey list. The watchdog stated that Pakistan failed to fully implement the 27-point action plan that the watchdog had drawn up for the country. The multilateral watchdog had put Pakistan on its list of jurisdictions under increased monitoring in 2018 for not doing enough to curb the financial activities of terror groups. Since then, Pakistan's performance has been under periodic review, but every time it is found to be deficient in its efforts. In the last meeting of the FATF in October 2021, Pakistan was once again retained on the grey list because it failed to prosecute and confiscate the assets of UN-designated terrorists. While Pakistan claims from time to time in the submissions to the FATF that it is making substantial progress on the points which have been observed by the body from time to time, it has not been successful in convincing the FATF bodies as well as the uh, Asia-Pacific group on the credibility of the steps which it has taken. Obviously, Pakistan being continuing to be the hub of terror in the region per se, which has been very clearly highlighted in the Global Terrorism Index 2022 published recently, there are many challenges that the country will face to convince bodies at the FATF that it is serious on the issues of containing terrorism financing and money laundering. Important to note, even Pakistan's ruling party, the Pakistan Tariq Insaf, is facing some inquiries on how foreign funding was received by it. So in the extent of the money laundering and the terrorism financing runs right up to the highest political party, it is very difficult to imagine that the country will take steps to overcome the challenges faced in the near future. There is a simple reason for Pakistan being on the grey list, that Pakistan's deep state, led by the ISI and the army, is at the forefront of carrying out illegal terrorist activities and promoting terror globally. The involvement of Pakistan's notorious agency ISI in overthrowing the democratic government in Afghanistan and its closeness with the Taliban and Haqqani network is being closely watched by the international community. Pakistan's countering the financing of terrorism lead, the National Counter-Terrorism Authority, did not provide any explanation for the removal of the names. The removed name include lashkar e taiba leader and Mumbai terror attack mastermind Zakir ur rahman Lakhvi and many others. It is not surprising that Pakistan continues to be on the FATF grey list. The country has been on the grey, FATF grey list since 2018. The FATF has from time to time recommended that Pakistan sir, take measures to contain terrorist financing as well as money laundering. While Pakistan has claimed that it continues to take the measures which are required including implementation of certain bills and acts, there are serious deficiencies which have been noticed over a period. The FATF has therefore once again highlighted there are two particular issues which are required to be undertaken by Pakistan and these are related to the concerns related to money laundering as well as putting additional entities of the uh, under the terrorist financing sanctions. Unless Pakistan does so, it is unlikely that it will get off the list in the next review or by the FATF as well. 
despite mounting proof of Pakistan's role in international terrorism sponsorship. The country has taken no significant counter-terrorism measures on its turf. In truth, Islamabad has taken cosmetic measures prior to each plenary session of the global watchdog FATF, which has kept Pakistan on its grey list for failing to curb money laundering and terror financing. Superficial steps are taken to avoid being placed on the blacklist, while the country remains a hotbed of terrorism in reality.